by popular demand, or at least that one guy's demand, here is the Saint Seiya Waifu tier list. Now I made this myself, as you could tell because I accidentally put the same character twice, so feel free to make your own. Now many were surprised that there were exactly this many women in this prominent in the series. I wasn't but they're not necessarily prominent, but they are there, though I will fail to know the name of all of them. Still here are all the female characters in the series that I have some familiarity with. Now. The Lost Canvas Silver Saint. Honestly, she might be one of my least favorite female characters in the series. Uh, she's just kind of a dull action girl who the story could just do well without. So, honestly, I'm gonna just put her on D list. Mm, no, she's she's not hateable. She's just kind of there. So, C list. Yes, and she's headless, of course. To emphasize how little I care about her. Or they just hire crop. Either way. And then you have not Sasha. Um, you have the Lost Canvas Athena of the Past. I cannot quite remember her name. In fact, I believe she did not have an actual name. Her the name she's given just sort of means Athena. But I mean look at her. Oh my goodness. That body is out of this world, so she just has to be an A. How could she not be? Gaia, the mother goddess. There's not a ton of images of her, but she seems to be a she seems to be a lovely gal. So I'm gonna put her at A as well. Also, she is a black woman. Kinda. So I'm gonna show support. And the character listed twice is Cheyenne. Now, I don't know about you, but I for one am very much a cartoon goth girl supporter. And then though she's more anime, I think she definitely fits the bill here. Cheyenne is going to A. Both Omega and Episode G Assassin version. And then you have Sasha. Not manga Sasha, I'm talking about anime Sasha. The one that looks like they aged her a good 10 years. That one is going again in the A. I did not expect so many A tier characters already. Then you have another unbelievable looking character, the goddess Eris. Now, I. I, this does remind me I do need to go over the ending of, of Saint Seiya Sienta show, but overall she made a pretty good account, account of herself and she's an overall solid villain in the series. She's, well she's technically not the only one that killed Athena before, um, but, she, but she has killed her so, eh, what more could you want out of an evil goddess? She was an A. Um, Ruinate. She's sort of the secondary villain of the series of Saint Seiya Sonata's show. Um, eh, she formed her job pretty well, and she looks amazing. Her design is amazing, so yeah, I think I give her more of a B. Shun, or oh, no, no, it's Sean of Saint Seiya Knights of the Zodiac reboot. Yes, have you forgot about that? <laughs> I'm assuming you have not. Now, Shun as a character is nice enough, controversy aside, um, she didn't really do anything. A lot, in fact, a lot of the characters besides Seiya and Athena didn't really do anything, but eh, she's, she's fine. And I believe she's like, I think they all aged up to 18 in the um, Knights of the Zodiac thing, so eh, she gets... How do I give her? I give her a strong C. Right, can I move it? There we go, C. The Goddess of Violent Death. Kerr. Yeah, I like this character well enough. I give her a... a... She's more cute than sexy, so... I give her... Eh, she's in the B column. <laughs> Going purely by looks, this Lost Canvas character that I've completely forgotten about. G 
get a uh, high C. And the actual goddess Athena. Uh, in a weird way, sort of what the most underrated character here. Um, beautiful, strong, and definitely doesn't really deserve the hate she sometimes get in the series. So, I'm honestly gonna give her the goddess tier. Oh, right, I, <laughs> I did put, uh, um, what would I even call her? Dress Aphrodite here? Um, well, he makes a pretty convincing woman, and that was a nice dress, so, uh, B tier? Why not? Um, I forgot this character's name. In fact, I do not know the names of the four characters next go going over here. Um, but she is the, she is possessed, she is the character possessed by Poseidon in Lost Canvas. We don't see much of her, but she seems like a sweet girl with a body that's out of control, so, um, B, why not? And then we have the Titans. The first Titan here, you ever see a character, and specifically a type of character profile that somebody uses online that you pretty much associate that pick and character with the person? Yeah, that's what's kind of going on here, so it's a bit of awkward, but you know, at the end of the day, I gotta give her a... And it might be boosted by person I know. Um, yeah, she's in the B tier. I feel like this Titan never really showed up. I gotta give her a C. I love, love this Titan design right here. This sort of, like, awkward, sort of ditzy-looking girl design with the, with the purple armor. I'm giving this a B pretty much on armor alone, on design alone. I, I had to google this character. It's famous from Lost Canvas and she's known to be beautiful. Uh, I feel like there's a 5% chance it could actually be a guy under there. I have no idea, but you no, know, she looks like she has a bard-like personality, so hey, I give her a C. Mylia, or Mylia, one of the more dull characters of the Goat Saints in my opinion, but in Legend of Sanctuary, a movie I have yet to actually watch, she, he is a f woman. Um, hmm, again, going by design, who, who doesn't love redheads? So, yeah, I give it a B, her a B. The goddess of the moon and hunting, Artemis, sister of Athena. Hmm. Again, we don't know a lot about this character, but I like her design, so hey, I give her at least a B. Um, mermaid. <laughs> I wonder how old mermaid is, technically, because he's a fish, he could be four. <laughs> Mermaid could be four years old for all I know, but just going by looks and design, and honestly, she was she was a very loyal character to Poseidon, and looked after her after his after his defeat. So, just design and personality, I gotta give her. I honestly give her an A. Ah, the goddess, the evil. Well, no, the possessed goddess from. Um, from what was it? The, oh yeah, the filler arc, the highly touted filler arc, um, the Asgardian arc is called. She gets a, she gets a, she gets a B, yeah, I even put a, a little bit more, yeah. Character? That we only seen for a second, but going purely by design again, she at least at least a C tier. Paradox, or is it intrigue? I'm not sure which one of those characters is which. If I was to be real with you, but um, in fact, they might be the same person. I have no idea, guys. I have not seen Omega yet. <laughs> 
like if I ever do a power skill on Omega character, which I do want to do, Anime Seiya in Saturn, um, it'll be pretty much via someone I know that has watched it and relayed the information. So yeah, but you know, design-wise and personality-wise, so what I've seen, she's no high-energy crazy girl. So I don't see why that's why she doesn't get a B. Again, the Titans going purely by design. This one's not doing much for me. You get a C. This design is pretty cool, honestly. So I give it a B. Oh right. <laughs> uh, I guess I got my first D list here. Um, we have the Egyptian, uh, the Egyptian snake goddess here. And I know goddess because boobs, and no snake because snake. She gets a D. I believe this character's name is Shinri, and she is um, Dragon Shiryu's girlfriend. She's a very loyal and loving character to Dragon, and pretty much a a, a mother-like character. So she gets, you know what? I'm getting her an A. And then we have. June. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. I often don't talk, to, talk about missed potential in characters because overall I think a lot of times characters serve their purpose in the story, but I do wish that June got some screen time doing something. Not necessarily focus on the main plot, but something out there. So, but still from what I've seen of her, I give her a... Screw it, I give her an A. And then you have Mama. Mama, what is it? Eagle Marin. The trainer of Seiya. And trainer and teacher of Seiya. Honestly, what's really not to like about this character? Again, loyal, strong, protector. Harsh, but can be sweet. You know, to me, she is a a tier character and that's it I am very surprised I did not put more into goddess tier could be my lack of familiarity you know what so let me go over this again see anybody can go on the A tier Shayana is very close she she's just a step you know what let me to further emphasize Shayana's going right there again Ares is a bit below that as well Sasha I kind of thought those Lost Kevin's character was a bit dull, so she's fine right here. Mm. Sean has potential, honestly, to be truth, to go at least B tier in the future. Mm. Who else we got? Who else we got? Yeah, guys, we're gonna stick with this, and here's my waifu tier list. If you enjoyed this, please like, sub, hit the bell, and tell me if you would like for me to do one for, say, uh, Digimon, that's one I had in mind. For now, please like, sub, and hit the bell, and I will link this below, and you, you can make your own if you want, if you like. Later.